Flat left wrist at impact. Are you really struggling to hit solid iron shots? Feel like you're flipping the club a lot, hitting a lot of shots off the toe and off the heel. Just can't seem to get that compression that you want to get to get those beautifully solid looking iron shots. Well, good news, in this next video, I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail and a really simple drill to get a flat left wrist at impact that's really gonna help you out. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. At this channel, I help you make the game of golf easy with at-home golf drills that lead to lasting improvement in the game of golf. Make sure you like this video. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get, it helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can both keep on improving and playing better golf together. Let's get started. Hey, it's Troy here. So you want to work on how to get a flat lead wrist at impact. Well, this is a critical position to get in in the golf swing, especially with your irons. It helps you hit the ball a lot more solid, a lot further and straighter. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you a really simple drill you can practice at home to embed this into your game. It's really going to help you out. I first just wanted to touch on why do we need a flat lead wrist at impact and why is it so important? Well, I've spoken about this before in previous videos. With irons, the way they are designed, they're designed to be hit with the shaft leaning forward so that we can compress down on the golf ball and that's how you get the optimum contact on your irons. Now, when it comes to the impact position, if you look at any of the really great players of the past and present, they're all in this sort of similar position. They've got their hips opened up They've got their arms, their hands and the, and the handle forward like this. They're all in this really compressed position like this when they hit the ball. And that results in a lot of solid iron shots. And you'll notice in this position here, the lead wrist is always flat. You never see any good golfer at impact that is in this sort of position here with cupping in this lead wrist turned out like that. It's always the exact opposite, flat lead wrist and they're compressing down the golf ball. So why is having a flat lead wrist so good? Well, a couple of things, and the first one is it stabilizes the club head at impact. When you're hitting iron shots and you're hitting the ball and then the turf, there's a lot of, a lot of compaction, a lot of force going in when you hit the turf, a really lot of force. Now, if you have a left, wrist position that's really weak like this when you're hitting that turf really hard that really throws that club head around it'll move around all over the place and that leads to a lot of those toe shots and a lot of those heel shots but if you can get a flat lead wrist at impact if you can get some sort of position like that that stabilizes that club head and enables you to hit a lot straighter and more consistent shots in the middle of the club head so that's the first reason why that is so important, getting that flat lead wrist, that flat left wrist at impact. Now the other one is, and again I've touched on this before, it's really important with your eyes that you're de-lofting them at impact. Now this is a, this is a pitching wedge, this is about 46 degrees. Ideally, if I'm hitting a golf shot like this, I wanna be de-lofting this to, to maybe 42 degrees, 40 degrees. All of the great players, if they were to set up here, if I'm sitting at 40, 46 degrees here with my club head, impact, I want to be reducing that by several degrees. And that's going to result in a lot more penetrating ball flight that flies a lot further. And this, this will go for every great player out there. They're always looking at de-lofting their irons. They get more distance, more accuracy, and they just hit the ball a million times better when they're de-lofting. And this results in getting that flat left wrist at impact so a lot of really good things happen from that so and the opposite of that is obviously flipping the club like this at impact and this causes so many problems just the opposite golfers and you might be one of these where you're you looked at yourself on video and you find you're flipping your wrist like this and you're actually adding loft to the iron at impact so you're getting the exact opposite of the desired result so 
I've got a really simple drill coming up that will stop you from flipping and get a beautiful flat left wristed impact every time. Let's get into it. Okay, here's a really simple drill to help you get that flat left wrist at impact. Now, the thing I love about this drill is you can practice this at home, just hitting short shots and work your way up to taking it to the driving range and this will really help you out on the golf course. So, all I'm gonna do, I've got a little, little store card here. You can do this with an old credit card, a driver's license or anything like that and it's gonna work really well. So all you're gonna do, you need to be wearing a glove to do this. We're gonna open up our glove just going to pop it sort of a couple of inches inside that glove so it's nice and secure. Now hopefully you can see this okay on camera. I've just got that going straight up the back of my forearm there. In that position there. Now the idea of this is if you're someone that flips, this little card here is going to add resistance and it's going to give you instant feedback that you're flipping your wrist like this and doing it incorrectly. So if I was to hit a shot like this, Straight away I can feel this card hitting into the top of my, uh, my hand there and also on the back of my forearm there. So this gives you instant feedback. Now if you're doing this correctly, this really helps promote getting in this position here with a beautiful flat wrist, left wrist. And I recommend practicing this first of all, just hitting short shots because this will help you out with your chipping as well. If you practice this at home, just doing little short shots, you actually don't even need to be hitting the ball. But practice hitting little short shots and getting that wrist nice and flat. And if you're doing it right, you won't really feel anything at all in this area here. Whereas if you tend to get flippy, this will dig right into you and you'll get instant feedback. So I'll demonstrate one here for you. Now it's really important to help get you that flat lead wrist that you are opening up your hips on the way down not so much your shoulders but your hips need to open we don't want to be standing square and sort of flipping like that we need to open up those hips so we can do this just doing really short shots so here we go get our set up just going to do a little short shot here we're going to open up and get a nice flat lead wrist There we go, did a nice little short shot. If you notice my follow through there, have a look at that position there. Pretty much all in one line, I finished like that. Flat lead wrist, I didn't feel any, any tension at all from this card on there because I kept that wrist nice and flat. I finished in that sort of position here, my hips opened and I made beautiful solid contact. Once you practice that with short shots, you can work your way up slowly and hit longer shots and eventually obviously take that card out. This is all about getting the right feel for how you want that lead wrist at impact, which is gonna help out your iron shots a great deal. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this drill to get a flat left wrist at impact. Maybe you've tried a different drill that's worked really well for you. Well, drop a comment down below. Tell me if you've got one of those or any other struggles that you might have. I will reply to every comment. There you have it. Now you know how to get a flat left wrist at impact, but very important up above this video here, I'll have a couple of videos that talk about the downswing. Now, once you get into that impact position, it's important to look at a couple of extra videos I've got here that will help you get into that position a lot, lot easier at the start of the downswing. So I'll pop those up above, make sure you check those out. Thanks so much for watching. Now below this video, I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video. Make sure you click on that link, get a hold of that. There'll be another link to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.